Chemistry lecture number 81, boiling point elevation and freezing point depression, part two. In this lecture, we'll explain how to do two more types of problems involving boiling point elevation and freezing point depression. 21.6 grams of nickel sulfate is added to 100 grams of water. Find the boiling point. All right, well, first thing we need to do is we need to find the molality, M, of the solution. So one mole of nickel sulfate is 155 grams, and we're going to use this conversion to convert uh, grams of water into uh, kilograms of water. 1,000 grams of water is one kilogram. All right, well, they give us grams of nickel per grams of water, so 21.6 grams of nickel sulfate per 100 grams of water, and we want to convert grams of nickel sulfate per grams of water into moles of nickel sulfate per kilogram of water. So here's how we do it. We have grams of nickel sulfate on top. I want to get rid of it, so I need to put grams of nickel sulfate on the bottom. I'll put 155 uh, grams of nickel sulfate on top and a mole of nickel sulfate, I'm sorry, I put grams of nickel sulfate on the bottom and mole of nickel sulfate on top because um, I guess I should have written this as uh, one mole of nickel sulfate is 155 grams of nickel sulfate. Okay, <clears throat> so that'll convert uh, grams of nickel sulfate into moles of nickel sulfate. Next, we want to convert grams of water into kilograms of water. I have grams of water on the bottom. I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put 1,000 grams of water on top and a kilogram of water on the bottom because 1,000 grams of water is the same as one kilogram of water. All right, so if we do this, um, grams of nickel sulfate cancel, and we're left with moles. And then grams of water cancel, and we're left with kilograms of water. So 21.6 times 1,000 divided by 100 times 155 is going to give us 1.39 molal nickel sulfate. So this tells us that uh, one kilogram of solution contains 1.39 uh, moles of nickel sulfate. So we're going to take this and we're going to do something with this. We have the molality of the solution. Okay, here it is right there, the molality. All right, now, uh, nickel sulfate is an ionic compound that dissociates into two ions when dissolved in water. So if you take nickel sulfate, put it in water, it uh, dissociates into these two ions. And so since the number of solute particles has doubled, we need to multiply the molality by two. So the molality of the solution is 1.39, but since it breaks into two particles, we multiply it times two. And this gives us 2.78 molal of solute particles, solute particles, all right, so we're going to take this value and now we can find the uh, answer, <clears throat> that's the molality of solute particles in solution, so knowing the molality of solute particles we can calculate the boiling point, so the change in boiling point is going to be equal to Kb times M, Kb, the boiling point constant for water, is 0.512 degrees Celsius per molal. And then the molality of the solution is 2.78. 2.78, so that cancels. 0.512 times 2.78, that gives us 1.42. So that's how much the boiling point changes when we add uh, nickel sulfate to the uh, water. Water normally boils at 100 degrees. The boiling point increases by that amount, so 100 plus 1.42, <coughs> excuse me, gives me 101.42 degrees Celsius. So that's our answer. When we add um, the nickel sulfate to uh, water, um, the boiling point increases by that much. Okay. Let's do one more type of problem, and this is a problem where you have to find the molar mass of the uh, solute. 99 grams of a non-ionizing solute is dissolved in 669 grams of water. The freezing point is negative 0.96 degrees Celsius. What is the molecular mass of the solute? All right, well, first we're going to find the uh, molality of the solution, and then we'll use this to find the molecular mass of the solute. So, 
<clears throat> basically, we're going to take this formula and we're going to solve for molality, little m right here. All right, well, water normally freezes at zero, and here it says it's freezing at negative 0.96, so it's 0.96 degrees below zero. So the change in temperature of the freezing point is 0.96. So 0.96 goes here. Kf is 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal, and we're solving for m right here. Now I've rewritten this over here without all the units because I tend to uh, get confused. So just rewriting this without the units is just going to be 0.96 equals 1.86 times molality. So the change in temperature is 0.96, Kf is 1.86, and we're solving for m. All right, well, if we do solve for a m, basically we just divide both sides by 1.86, and then that cancels, m equals this divided by that. The molality of the solution is 0.516 molal. So this means that um, the concentration of the solution is that one kilogram of water would contain 0.516 moles of the solute. All right, so we're going to take this value and sort of set it aside. But remember this number, we're going to use it later. Now, the problem asks us to find a molecular mass. The unit of molecular mass for the solute is grams of solute per mole. So this is the unit we want to get in the final answer. And that's the definition of molecular mass, grams per mole. All right, well, we've been given 99, 99 grams of solute per 669 grams of water. So we have grams of solute. We have part of the answer we want. We want grams of solute per mole. We've got grams of solute per grams of water. So we can convert the grams of water to kilograms of water and then convert the use uh, the molality to convert kilograms of water to moles. So basically, uh, the next process we're going to do is we're going to convert this grams of water into moles because we want our final answer in grams per mole. That's the definition of uh, molecular mass. Okay, so <coughs> we're going to use this to convert grams of water to kilograms of water. And then remember we said that the molality, we figured out the molality was 0 0.516 uh, moles per kilogram of water. So we previously solved it in the first half of the uh, problem. So 0.516 moles per kilogram of water, uh, we're gonna rewrite this as 0.516 moles equals kilograms of water because one kilogram of water will have this many moles of solute dissolved into it. So we'll use this as the conversion factor. All right, so the problem said that we had 99 grams of solute dissolved in 669 grams of water. So we're going to leave the grams of solute alone. We just need to convert the grams of water. All right, well, I have grams of water on top. I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put 1,000 grams of water on top right here and a kilogram of water on the bottom. And in this way, the grams of water will cancel and we're left with kilograms of water. And then we want to convert the kilograms of water. So I got kilograms of water on the bottom and I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put a kilogram of water on top and 0.516 moles on the bottom. And I can do this because one kilogram of water will contain 0.516 moles of solute. All right. And if I do this, uh, we end up with uh, moles on the bottom. So we'll end up with grams of solute per mole. So grams of water cancel, kilograms of water cancel, and we've got moles on the bottom and grams of solute on top. So 99 times 1,000 divided by 669 times 0.516, and that'll give us 287 grams of solute per mole. So that's the molecular mass. That's the answer. That's how much one mole of solute uh, weighs, so to speak. That's the mass of one mole of solute. All right, so those are the two problems that uh, I want you to know how to do. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 81, boiling point elevation and freezing point depression, part two.